여기 두 명의 자매가 있습니다. 일곱 살의 동생 켈리와 여덟 살의 언니 사만다. 동생 켈리와 언니 사만다의 얼굴 화관이 꽤 다르다는 것을 볼수 있습니다. 이들이 성장하고 몇년뒤 언니 사만다의 턱은 더욱 길어지고 돌출형 입을 갖게 되었습니다. 무엇이 이 차이를 만들었을까요? 스탠포드 대학의 앤드류 후보만 교수가 그 이유를 설명합니다. droopy the teeth are there and their mouth breathing they show this there's one case of this young girl who just she got a pet or a pet hamster i think it was got a a uh, allergy to the hamster and literally took this beautiful young girl and she just her face just starts aging at a rapid rate they get rid of the hamster she goes back to nasal breathing they do a little of encouragement of nasal breathing using the mouth closure thing at night do a little bit of medical tape and like her these beautiful almost like modelesque features come back in this girl hmm. jaw shape and the clear to the nasal passages you know, really there's no reason why any of us should ever had had br- I had braces but all your teeth should fit in your mouth mm-hmm. right and you should be able to put your tongue on the roof of your mouth with your mouth closed i can't quite do it your, your palate should be somewhat wide you know and so when we see now there's the jawser sizer is really big in hollywood that and peptides are like taking over the jawser sizer yeah they these like things where like bouncy mouthpiece yeah it looks it, the only problem is it makes people drool it's pretty gross but you know you it's Those work exercise they definitely work they change your facial structure they dilate the the um uh the nasal passages you look at somebody who keeps their facial muscles strong there's and this is for women and men their jaw muscles strong we're not talking about the like you know like i mean there's certain people who are like genetic freaks like my friend laird hamilton he's got you know it's like big old neck and like yeah. huge jaw like he looks like a you know an actor from the 70s or something he's just yeah. naturally that way a lot of people are concerned with like what's going on with my skin a lot of um women and men are like putting all the stuff on and figure out how to get rid of the droopy eyes it's actually a facial muscle issue and had, were they just to do some jaw exercises and focus on not mouth breathing it completely changes the structure of the face in just two three months and there's yeah there's like Holy skincare shit. salons called like face gym and other places where they're literally giving your face a workout and you'll notice that it's like a lymphatic type of massage it'll change uh, after one session so, so when girls are getting like uh, maybe this doesn't work actually when girls are getting filler to like put in like they have the hollow space or whatever here or here does that does that well i look at the plastic surgery thing now and it's kind of crazy i mean maybe this just reflects my age and my generation but i see some people with wearing so much dark eye makeup plus they're getting the cheekbone inserts they look like skeletons Mm -hmm. now that's not yeah every listen everyone's got their tastes but but Facial structure is something that can be modified. Mm. Um, and so the having a chewing your food, chewing hard foods is something we used to do a lot more. All this slurping down of food and calories we know isn't good from the obesity side, but it's also not good from the jaw structure, teeth structure, face structure. Mm. And it's all related, you know? So that book, Jaws, is amazing. The, people can just look it up online if they yeah. want to buy the book. Just do, um, you know, Jaws, um, mouth structure, face structure, and then just go images. And you'll see these <laughs> pictures. And this was known in the 1800s. There was a book called Shut Your Mouth by a British doctor who talked about the fact Hmm. that people who snore sleep like this and then during the daytime they become mouth breathers. He said they become less attractive than the people who are um, uh, nose breathers. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. Yeah, it's really interesting. And this is like a zero cost thing, but um, it's not emphasized enough.
치아 발달에 부정적인 영향을 미칩니다. 먼저 구강호흡으로 인한 부작용을 설명해 드리겠습니다. 올바른 호흡 방법은 혀를 입천장에 대고 코로 호흡하는 것입니다. 이렇게 호흡하면 상악골과 하악골이 균형있게 발달하는데 도움을 줍니다. 하지만 구강호흡을 하게 되면 평소 입을 벌리고 혀를 입 바닥에 둔 상태로 호흡하게 되고 그 결과 상악골이 잘 발달하지 못하고 하악골이 더 발달하는 긴 얼굴을 가질 확률이 높아집니다. 또한 턱 공간이 충분하게 발달하지 못해 이가 제대로 자라지 못하고 덧니나 돌진이 및 부정교합이 생길 확률이 높아집니다. 다음으로 턱 근육 발달 저하로 인한 부작용을 설명해 드리겠습니다. 진화학자 다니엘 리버먼 등 여러 학자들에 따르면 턱 근육이 제대로 발달하기 위해서는 충분한 저작 운동이 필수적이라고 합니다. 수렵체질 시절 인류는 질긴 음식을 주로 먹었습니다. 그 결과로 턱이 건강하게 발달할 수 있었습니다. 하지만 요리 기술이 발달하며 인류는 부드러운 음식을 주로 먹게 되었습니다. 그 결과로 턱이 잘 발달하지 못하고 작아졌는데 좁아진 구강에서 치아가 비집고 나오기 힘들기 때문에 덧니 및 부정교합이 발생할 확률이 높아졌다고 합니다. Yeah, yeah. I've heard about this. Crazy. 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 Yeah. I, saw, I mean, I saw random things on like maybe TikTok or Instagram of, of uh, people who said, yeah, I started chewing this thing or maybe it was oh, the yeah, jaws. Oh, yeah, a hard gum. I thought, yeah, yeah, there was a hard gum. Yeah. And I, was, I, I thought that this was some like, uh, I don't know, just some ploy, some like gimmick. Some TikTok to, trend. Yeah, to get some quick money out of people. But no, this is legit. Huh? Yeah, yeah. And that there's a, you know, also for avoiding orthodontia, you know, like uh, kids who chew hard food who have to chew their food, eating real food and yeah. chewing their food, not just peanut butter, you know, slurping down food all the time. They, using their jaw and their teeth, they have really nice teeth. In fact, the argument was made, and there's a, you know, animals in the animal kingdom have beautiful teeth structure. You don't see the, huh. the, the messed up teeth. They have beautiful teeth structure, and they don't wear braces. Yeah. But they're tearing flesh, and they're doing their mm. thing. We brought this up before. If you look at, like, mummified people from, yeah. like, way back in the day, their oh, teeth are always, yeah. like, pretty good. Yeah. And, like, they're not, they don't have all crazy, they're not eating sugar at the same rate, stuff like that. But those are the elites, bro. <laughs> Actually, wait, that makes sense. They were probably the ones eating the best food, yes. the ones having to chew yes. on meat because mm -hmm. it was the rich people that are going to be able to get that meat. Because right. I don't think they were mummifying everybody, right? But I mean, like, people like the bog man that, like, is in, you know, England that got frozen in, like, some bog. Oh, okay, even like, he has Yeah, a, like, yeah. their teeth are not in the way the Americans' teeth are now. So then why did, why did humans start losing their teeth? Is it, like, the... Uh, This nice structure, you mean? The, yeah. Like you even look back at you know old presidents and stuff like that. Like George Washington had all fake teeth. Like what did he start ingesting that's getting rid of? Well, I think back then the problem was that you know there was no. I mean, dental care is still a good idea. Yeah. In fact, bacteria in the teeth and not. I'm terrible maybe about sugar, flossing. Maybe sugar too. Sugar and yeah, also right. people not flossing. I mean, flossing and you know. Flossing and tooth care actually improves heart health. This is not pseudoscience. Yeah, I've heard that. Because if you have bacteria living in your mouth, right, and starting to take residence in your mouth and they get into your system, it can cause issues for the rest of your body. Mm. I mean, we, of course, operate as a whole system. Um, you know, I'm pretty bad about flossing. I was one of these kids that had tons of cavities and I took decent, I, mean, I brush twice a day. I don't know, are any of you three times a day brushers? You get those people. I try to be, those, but I those can't do it. People, they always impress me. They're brushing their teeth after lunch. Yeah, it's not me either. Um, No, flossing and brushing, definitely good um, to keep bacteria out. But it's amazing what, che you know, chewing your food really well yeah. will do for a facial structure. 